Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm where this week we're doing a tour of the Walbra minefield. Yeah, Wal Wal Walbra vineyards. Yes, vineyards. So this is the Framingham vineyard with the big F at the top. It, yes, you could probably guess that this is one of the favourites of Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, we're hiding over there somewhere. Let's go over there. Classic Riesling. This is... Is the, is the world meant to be doing this? Oh, perhaps if I take the glass out of the way. Any idea what we're doing with these? I think we're supposed to fill them in with any notes that we have. Right. Hmm. Yeah, uh, too much like paperwork. Alright, Whitehaven Vineyard. Ooh. Darling wife. There we go. So you may be asking, why are all the shops at the vineyard so overcast? Isn't it meant to be in summer in New Zealand? You know, sunshine, children, ice cream, screaming, that kind of thing. Well, we thought so too, but um, tropical cyclone Dovey came down and paid us a visit. Uh, I've got a picture somewhere of, uh, this is what the bridge looks like back at the farm. Rough weather. Anyway, um, we're done with that rough weather now, but you can carry on watching the vineyard video. Yeah. Um, taking a break from all that strenuous wine drinking. Um, if you have a look uh, under the table down there, you will see some pipes which you can wedge your legs underneath. They keep your legs warm because they've got hot water piped in. Really cunning piece of Kiwi ingenuity there. Anyway, back to the wine. One of the problems is of going on a wine tour is that um, basically you're drunk in charge of a credit card. Mm. One hangover later. The bit of the country we're driving through at the moment is called the Lewis Pass. Uh, allows you to cut across the Southern Alps from one side of the South Island to the other. It's a great drive in the summer, um, not so much fun in the winter. Amongst this great scenery, some vineyards have decided to make cheese. Lots of uh, really scenic campsites here run by the Department of Conservation with all amenities, including toilets, which come with a defibrillator, just in case you have a heart attack after seeing the state of the long drop. New Zealand makes less than 1% of the world's wine, but scoops up a disproportionately large number of awards. This is because the earthquakes in New Zealand have mixed the soils up and one vineyard can grow its grapes on several different kinds of soil. That, coupled with the fact that, being new to wine growing, New Zealand has experimented with many different varieties, means that we have lots of different kinds of wine. When one New Zealand wine producer takes their wine to a show and wins awards, all the other New Zealand producers that make wines in a similar style take theirs along to the show, and we scoop them all up. But hey, our wines are pretty good anyway. Well, this is our last stop in the vineyard tour. This is the Sinclair vineyard. No, not that Sinclair. This Sinclair. Anyway, for now, that's your lot. Down on Geeko Farm. Cheers.